in Golf Three only smart practice make perfect. You have to use your brain. Ego can fly. That's their instinct. They can fly. Human beings, you want to fly. You have to study the aerodynamics. For the golf swing, it's not human beings'、uh, natural motion. You have to learn the technique, the nuance factors to hit the ball. Like uh, uh, outside in, you don't think about the curve. You just think about your arms motion. Your arms motion is identical with the baseball swing. And your bodies will help your club head to a 45 degrees swing. You have to use your brain. For managers, you have to think and how to grip the、um, club head wisely. Hey, this is Ana Jimenez from Madrid, Spain, and I play that Santander golf. This is golf for smarter number 908. Learning the golf swing through physics. With the author Junsheng Wang or Jason, this is Golf Smarter, sharing stories, tips, and insights from great golf minds to help you lower your score and raise your golf IQ. Here's your host, Fred Green. Welcome to the Golf Smarter podcast, Jason. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here.、Uh, well, thank you for reaching out、um, because I got to be honest. This is a real stretch for my capacity of intellect、mm-hmm. and knowledge. I I never、uh-huh. took physics as a, as a student in school. I don't understand physics, and clearly I don't understand the golf swing. But I'm hoping that you can help that make make that easier for me and whoever is troubling with this、sure. as well. Sure, sure. Excellent. Understand.、Uh, most people has no background about.、Uh, Engineering, and、uh, I understand that. Right. So you were、uh, uh, trained as a mechanical engineer, and where did oh, you? Oh yes, it's a long you, term. Many decades, about forty、uh, decades, <laughs> four decades. <laughs> okay, <laughs> four decades.、Um, yes. And where did you grow up? I grew up in、uh, Taiwan. Okay. And、yeah. what brought you to the United States?、Uh, about nineteen ninety one. And why? I immigrated to the United States, and then I、uh, I work as a uh, um, uh, boiler and machinery inspector for more than twenty twenty six twenty seven years in America. When I was in Taiwan, I was a mechanical engineer in a steel yard and shipyard, and also in addition to that, I worked for the commercial.、Uh, Commercial area for for many years, but I still interested in、uh, my mechanical engineering、uh, business because I like it. Because、okay. use my brain to thinking of, to solve problems. Okay, well, I'm glad. Hopefully, we can solve a big problem today.、Um, <laughs> when did you start, or how did you start playing golf? Oh, that's a. a, a And when I came to the states, I first uh, uh, I like、uh, fly fishing. Fly、so、fishing. I think, yeah, fly fishing. And I said, "Oh, that's very genius approach." So I, under, but I couldn't find any uh, any uh, any books about the、uh, the the theory about fly fishing. So I studied for a lot for 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 so several years because it's very genius approach. I found how you can make more powerful uh, uh, casting. Right, that's it. Later on, on as as、uh, as many people practice uh, uh, golf, right? Then I go practice golf, practice golf, and、uh, when I practice golf, I think, hey, the same I did same、um, in, in me- mechanical engineering back, uh, uh, point of view, the golf swing. Has the same reason reasoning with the fly fishing, so I use my study of my fly fishing outcome results apply to uh, uh, golf playing. When I play golf, right, I ask Uncle because the golf swing is actually is a kind of、uh, rotary motion is a is governed by physics and、uh, mechanical engineering. So I ask. The theory,、uh, the principle to golf、uh, 
um, instructors. Mm -hmm. But many questions they cannot answer me. Uh, no, I would think that they don't have the understanding <laughs> of, of the mechanical theory like you do. Yeah. But I don't want to blame them because they have, they have a lot of experience and uh, knowledge, we, uh, but they, no, they have no background of uh, physics. Uh, they know little about uh, Newton's law or know about mechanical engineering. So almost uh, uh, most of them, they cannot answer my, my questions. So <laughs> I was frustra frustrated. And uh, my, my body has some defects, all right? And I cannot, uh, uh, we, during the uh, fly fishing, my, my arms has, my body has uh, some problems. To, it's very hard to, uh, to make the, all the fly fishing very, very well. So I just start, I start, start, start studying the, 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 the nuance of the swing. Then I use that to apply that one to the golf swing, right? Because they cannot answer my questions. I have right. nobody to ask about, right? Even the mechanical engineer, they just follow the, um, uh, the instructor, coach's uh, instruction, right? They cannot, they just do it. They didn't think. I'm a guy who like to thinking uh, in addition to my study in uh, fly fishing. So I start switch to uh, the, uh, the um, uh, uh, swing, uh, uh, golf swing. For first question, as they told me, the uh, for instance, the smash factor. I said, what is smash factor for? All right? They cannot answer my, what? This, this help, they just tell me the efficient efficiency of the swing. I'm very curious. Then I said, hey, I would like to study that, All right? <clears throat> so I used the, my mechanical engineer background and the fly fishing uh, study result. I calculate the, um, uh, uh, the swing motion. Then it takes a long time because it's very hard to find, make out uh, a, this, the swing, uh, swing, uh, golf swing uh, formula. Okay, that's based on the Newton's law. Based on the Newton's law, I've, the, this uh, formula contains the factors affecting the ball speed and the ball distance. So then I found to manifest some factors affecting the ball, uh, the smash factor and the ball distance. And in fact, only two factors one is a COR of the collision between the golfer, uh, between a golf ball and the golf, uh, and the golf, uh, and the golfer holding a club. Right. So it's the club yeah, and the ball, the club head and the ball. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, the uh, COR, you know, COR means COR. the collision. All right. The collision. Another thing, as far as I understand, uh, has not been addressed in the uh, uh, golf world, but this continued acceleration in the in, in the um, in the hitting impact, right? This is a somewhat revolutionary discovery. The what is the uh, continue the acceleration is a result of the force and the force generate uh, acceleration. So the gen why I say generation, uh, acceleration is same meaning as the force. So the critical, the crucial factor affecting the ball speed is the, is the, um, is this uh, 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 continued acceleration. The concept of the acceler acceleration is same as you know the rifle. You know the rifle. Sure. The rifle has long barrels, right? Yeah. The barrels, the bullet, bullet goes through the barrel. There's a continual acceleration. If you cut the barrel half or cut off the barrel, the bullet won't go won't fast. 
Really? Well, uh, huh? If you uh, cut the, right? Because the uh, continual acceleration in the barrel keeps the bullet go shoot fast, shoot further, shoot a long distance. Did not know that. You, you, can you think about do uh, do you hunt? Do you hunt? No. No. Okay. You the, the rifle, the the barrels, the distance, the the length of the rifle, the shorter the life. If you cut the uh, barrels in shorter, cut in the half, your your bullet won't won't go very fast or won't go very far far. Right. That's the same reason you have to use continued acceleration. Oh. How to increase? How to increase the um, continued acceleration? The method is make a good, uh, in popular term, is of uh, pivot motion. The pivot motion, right? Use your uh, uh, use your left uh, leg as a pivot, then pivot you can motion. turn your hip. That's the pivot motion. Uh -huh. But in physics or in mechanical engineering, you should say offset swing. Uh, offset. And offset means uh, you you move the, the axis of the rotation away from the uh, center center line of the body. That that approach will increase your power, your heating power. Wow! The energy comes from that. So everybody say we we need it. Nowadays, many golfers will ask the students to have a bad good uh, pivot motion. The pivot motion, you know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You use your left uh, uh, left leg as a spindle, then you turn your Hip, that's a pivot motion. If you can make make a good pivot motion, then you can you can ex, uh, exert a good power and uh, uh, preparation to hit the ball. Okay. So I I just. I, I'm, I'm sorry found. to interrupt, but I'm going to take a quick time sure. out here. It's kind of like mm -hmm. uh, when you leave your iPhone or you, you leave your phone out in the sun too long and it overheats and shuts down. My head's starting to overheat and shut down with all this information. So okay. we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back right, <laughs> after, right yeah. after this. I'm referring to you as Jason. I know that your name and on the book you go by your name, which is Yun Chen Wang, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. but you prefer to be called Jason. So Jason, yeah. <laughs> but if, if you're <laughs> looking, for, if people are looking for the book, which is called Learning the Golf Swing Through Physics, and I'm holding the book up now, Learning the Golf, yeah. Ring, so, Gol, Learning the Golf Swing Through Physics by Yun Chen Wang from Taiwan. Um, I, I'm, I'm, we, we have to make this so I can understand this. I'm sure there's a lot of other people who, who are already understanding what you're saying, but I'm going to work on this. Have you ever, are you familiar with the book, The Golfing Machine by Homer Kelly? You mean the, uh, 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 the golf machine, the hitting machine? Is it the hitting machine or the golfing machine? No, I, no. Okay. Is that a, a golf hitting machine? It's a, it's a book. By no, uh, no. that was written uh, uh, almost a hundred years ago, called by yeah. Homer Kelly, called the uh -huh. golfing machine, and uh -huh. he took he took a very scientific approach um, uh -huh. to the golf swing, which I think you would relate to if you're not familiar with it. I think that's what uh, Bryson DeChambeau is a, uh -huh. a a student of that um, book, the, the details of that book, and he's kind of a science nerd, so. He, you would probably understand what he was saying and probably um, confirm your theories at the very least. Let's talk about the Newton's law of motion and how uh, how it is relevant to golf. You mean uh, 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 in, the, uh, in the point of view of my book, my saying? Yes, yes, please. Okay, okay. When you learn... You have to get to the point. What is the key point to hit the uh, 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 hit the ball with a powerful hit? 
right? Mm -hmm. And many people know not much about the physics. For instance, how to increase the COR, the heat, like uh, COR means uh, one approach is to hold the uh, a grip the a powerful grip to the uh, club, right? But why? Uh, how to do that? Many the good one good thing is you cannot hold it uh, hold the club very tight. You have to make use of the uh, we call it uh, suddenly apply the load, right? Mm. To uh, which is means uh, when you suddenly grip tight, then the uh, gripping power will almost double according to the physics. So that's when you hit the ball, when you grab the, uh, uh, when you grip the uh, club, you cannot hold it extreme, extremely tight. You have to use, use the um, uh, physics phenomenon to to increase your gripping power, like uh, you you like a soldier when he hit his enemy uh, with his uh, axe or sword, when he stares at his enemy, when he chop on his enemy, he will suddenly uh, uh, grip grip the his sword very tight, right? That is the suddenly. Uh, does it suddenly apply the load or uh, load? So <clears throat> when we when we grip the um, uh, club, we cannot grip it extremely tight, right? And based on the physics, you know where is the most critical point of the gripping? The gripping point, I as I as my I as my uh, drawing illustration in my book. That's the the. Uh, the start, uh, 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 the end point closer to the ball. That is the most important point. You have to uh, pay attention on that point. So, based on this principle, if you know this principle, you will get a direction as to how to practice the ball. All right, and uh, you know the as I mentioned the um, the. Uh, 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 continued acceleration, which means uh, uh, during the dur during the uh, during the uh, hitting impact, you have to use additional strength to hit the ball, right? And if you know that, you 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 have you can you you will have the direction, is how to increase your power. You have to pay attention to your p uh, make a good pivot motion. If you can make a good pivot motion, then you can have a you can perform a a good uh, good continued acceleration. In the meantime, the uh, heating power will increase. That's important. So that's why I uh, I uh, wrote this book to the golfers. So they give them all my book here is not by not by experience, not by popular uh, opinion, but based on the uh, physics, based on the Newton's law, to derive the conclusion. So all the conclusion supposed to be uh, the, uh, well, I, I, so supposed to be correct, should be followed. Right. So I'm curious, um, when you started to dig deep into the um, the smash factor and the the cor and understanding Newton's law of motion, how did it impact your golf game? Did you start hitting the ball much farther? Uh, no, because in fact, <laughs> wait a minute. In fact, I try to improve my body. That's mm. why I keep study because. I can swing very good at the left, at, uh, at the left from left uh, side, but for the right side I cannot because my body is uh, very rigid on the one side. So my doctor says you cannot con continue uh, use the other side. You have to use the other side. Just the 
uh, the 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 right hand side, all right? Because when the fly fish, I found I draw back, I cannot move forward. So, uh, I, uh, in one side, I try to correct my body. The other side, I study the golf swing, all right? Mm. And with my a uh, mechanical and the physics uh, background. Right. And then I discover uh, so many theory, many reasoning uh, uh, regarding the golf swing, because the golf swing uh, is not human's natural movement, right? right. And for the uh, baseball, you can, uh, for instance, you can hit the ball quite easily. No one, no uh, ba- baseball hitting school. No, absolutely no. But there's many golf swing schools, and they yes, pay a lot of attention, a lot of money. Yes. Right? For instance, people said, um, people said, uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the outside in, you know, the, the yeah. swing, yeah. the outside in. And for myself, that shouldn't be happen. The same as the uh, baseball hitting. If you follow the follow the rule. Follow the rule. You want slowly. You won't make any mistake. You cannot. Uh, that's that's too many theory. All right, too many uh, professional. The apparent. You you see the uh, uh, the the golf swing from like uh, from an angle down. You can, that's apparent. That's an apparent uh, uh, swing pass. The actual swing pass same as. Baseball hitting your arms, right? Always, always go with your flank at this side, right? And your arms always goes not keep closer to your torso. In that situation, you have have strength will come out. So many many people just use the hit apparent pass. So they try to swing like this way, over the top. It's at angle. Then that's wrong. You you cannot. You should because the arms and the torso, your body must be uh, in synchro synchronize. Must synchronize. You cannot separate. So your arms supposed to you is supposed to be in relative motion. Your arms go with your your flank, right flank. If you use the right hand, always go with the right flank, rather than uh, there's relative motion. You have to understand the relative motion. And okay, we're going to take a time out, and we're going to come back and talk about relative motion. We'll be sure, back sure, after sure. This game improvement insights and advice never seems to age which is why we here at Golf Smarter focus on evergreen content that stays fresh and helpful for years and years. That's why our greatest asset is our library of interviews, which is why Golf Smarter Mulligans was created. Each Friday, we bring back episodes that are no longer available on any podcast app, including what you're listening to right now. So this week, we go back to a conversation with author Paul Staley about his book, why we golf. There's that old cliche, it's fear and greed that move the market. I think that that explains an incredible amount of what happens to us out on the golf course. And I talk in the book about how you can take all your bad shots and you can put them into two buckets. You've got the fear bucket and the greed bucket. You've got to be short-sighted. You've got to get over a bunker. You've got a narrow tee shot. You've got a difficult downhill putt. Any time that your weight stays on your, your backside, that's a fear shot. You're already backing away from it before you even finished it. You know, and then there are the greed shots. We're playing well. We were stroking it right down the middle. So the next time we're out there, we're just going to go for a couple more yards off the tee. So you start coming over the top. You're pulling it into the trees, or you were seeing the line well on your putt. So you're going to be able to get a bit more aggressive. Now you've got three feet coming back like this metronome and you go back and forth between those in terms of how you play the game. 
That's Paul Staley, author of Why We Golf, on episode 224 of our sister podcast, Golf Smarter Mulligans, being released this Friday morning to prepare for your weekend round. This episode was originally members-only episode in early 2012, so it's never been released publicly before. So please, follow us regularly and never miss the next insight that could change your game. Golf Smarter is published every Tuesday, and Golf Smarter Mulligans, our sister podcast that revisits the best of Golf Smarter episodes that are no longer available. It's released every Friday from wherever you're listening right now. All right, there's a couple things that I want to cover, including the definition of smash factor from your perspective, but let's start with relative motion. What do you mean by relative motion? Okay. When you see, okay, when you swim in the lake, you see the, the other side, you just go straight, right? Go straight. Mm-hmm. Once the water coming from this river, the water coming down, you, you order, you, 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 you want to swim to the, uh, the other side. You cannot go straight. You have to at the angle. Okay. Sure. Right. That's, that's like a relative, relative motion. That's all right. Same thing. In the golf swing, really many many people says uh, <clears throat> the outside in. I very beginning I ask them because I understand them. Uh, they they did not like, confuse the, with the with the uh, concept. Actually, golf is same as uh, baseball uh, hitting. The arms, the arms root. If you don't move. If it's golfer, don't move. Your arms is the same as the baseball from top to down to to your to your waist, and then hit out, extend out. So identical, identical. Hmm. Because that's human beings, the best power you can you can exert out. You can develop. That's that's a that's a that's definitely a, 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 a rule, right? And unfortunately, when golf swing, you are bent. You're bent forward, mm-hmm. right? When you bend forward, you, you, are, you are still supposed, same as baseball, your arms so go to the, uh, let's, let's somewhat exaggerate, go with your side flank, and then push forward. Identical with the golf uh, baseball swing. The only thing is you bend. Mm-hmm. Then you have to make a off uh, with a pivot motion. This pivot motion, you know, the pivot motion will make the the circular motion into a into a angle motion forward to hit the ball. Okay. That is the, so you, you look like everybody, so especially the beginner, what they say, the, the, the veterans, they hit the ball, they just swing the, uh, swing his arms at the angle, at 45 degrees angle. The beginners, oh, I know, at the angle, that's, then he made a mistake. That's apparent. That's apparent angle. He should basically he should follow same as um, base baseball hitting. He should comes down, but his body is turned, so his body makes his make the club head move at angle to hit the ball, rather than rather than he swing the uh, club at the 45 degrees angle, that's wrong. In case you swing that, uh, uh, the club and the club head at a 45 degrees, at the very beginning, if you move your, if you rotate your torso, then your pass will become so-called extremely outside in. That's many mistake. That's many beginners, even myself at the beginning, when I listened to their, this, uh, I found, I've discovered this, uh, this uh, nuance 
mistake, right?、Mm. They should not、uh, hit、uh, at forty-five degrees angle because the、uh, golf swing swing path is is composed of arms motion and and your torso or body's、uh, pivot motion. That's a, a turn at the angle. So. The the swim pass supposed to be、uh, your arms is like a baseball hitting move down, but because your body move, your a、uh, swim pass ahead becomes a forty five degrees angle. That makes the swim pass. Okay, okay, and you know one of the things that intrigued me in the、uh, in your book、um, about What you call the undiscovered stories between hitting a fade and a draw. Now, I've、oh. always I've always had a, a a fade to to my shot, and I've kind of embraced it because I've struggled with hitting a draw.、Um, <laughs> sometimes it happens, but I just don't know when it's going、yeah. to or how to make it work. And、yeah. many teachers have said, "Oh no, no, that's easy. It's just it's、yeah. in your head." The fade and draw. Many,、uh, as far as I know, many people say the、uh, keep the、um, club head in a slant faces and hit the ball. So they would do、uh, the slice or whatever. But not that's not the whole story. Because in in case you don't have the continued acceleration, as I discussed earlier, without that, the ball won't have won't spin. They won't. They won't spin.、Mm -hmm. Only in my book describe very detail because I know many people cannot explain this. Only when you use the、uh, make good use of the accelerate acceleration continue acceleration that's a for additional force, then the ball when it contact the club head a club face keep coming and you you can you can push it up and slice it. So the ball will rotate, on make a quick, fast spinning.、Uh, okay, the very high speed spinning. Then it creates,、uh, generates fade or draw. Another thing is, as I another thing important is for beginners, as I told you, the pivot motion. Right, if you make a good pivot motion. Your swing, your club has swing pass is round. It's in this large circle and very flat. So in that situation,、uh, you won't make any. Uh, uh, you won't make any、um, uh, fade or draw if you hit it right. For the beginners, because they cannot make it make a good circle, right? The circle will be shrink. So he cannot make a good pivot pivot motion. So his、uh, club head club and club head will make an inward slicing motion. I, I'm not sure you can, you, you can you can try it. Well, if you make a big circle, right? If you make a half, then your club 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 head in actually move forward to you. It likes you you. It make a slice about the ball, and then it creates, it cre it generates a, a fade, a fade motion.、Right. Before you know it, many people don't know that, but because you 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 can see my book, the when you when you are、uh, <clears throat> if you're a beginner, they cannot make a good circle, the cir the the big circle. The circle maybe only say half. Then there's a difference. There's a difference, right? I call it. There's like this way, this way, and they can make only this way. So your club head actually make it, make it like a slice motion. So that's many people for beginners they inclined to hit a fade rather than a draw. He he won't. He never. He would never ever hit a draw because. Is a、uh, club moved in moved inward, move inward rather than move outward. 
to industrialization, a slice happened. That okay. I studied that for a while, for a yeah. long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, um, I'm curious. Do in in looking at physics and studying physics in the golf swing, um, does a heavier club or a heavier club head have any uh-huh. impact on what the balls? Uh, the distance of how far the ball is going to go? I will say the even your body and your uh, golf club, uh, golf club head, all right, no matter how heavy they are, little influence in the ball distance. This is according to the uh, ball speed formula, right? So you don't, I, I, I saw some uh, uh, YouTube, some people use that, uh, Big hammer, mm-hmm. try to swing the big hammer. I said, "Oh my gosh, they waste their time. They don't know the his. They don't know. They don't study the. I would say they don't read my book. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I should keep that book. You waste your time. That the the the, the, the weight of the uh, the club or the club head won't help because the ball is so small in weight." In comparison, in comparison with your body, diff, huge difference, right? So the ball distance only affected by two things. One is the COR. The other one is continued acceleration. Mm-hmm. Your weight totally of no use. Also, no matter how heavy your huge sledge or you say a, a hammer, the ball won't won't go farther, go farther an inch. No, absolutely not. Don't waste your time. Wow. The why the uh, now the golf uh, the like a <clears throat> like a driver why he can hit farther right because not because of its weight because of the design they are like a energy like a like a the 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 the, the, the head like a, what do you call it the face can store energy and. The, and the release energy that help wow. the COR increase. That's the reason, not because of because of the weight. Wow, fascinating! So that's Again, why I hope. Yes, go ahead. I hope many people can, after reading this book or uh, understanding the physics, they they will know what's happened. Don't waste your time on the trivia. Some of you say. Big hammer. I know you are strong, but I'm totally out of no use. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if if you have an understanding of physics, if if uh, the listener has an understanding of physics um, and how to apply it, then you'll be absolutely fascinated by this book. I don't know um, once you understand the physics how it, there's no instruction on how to apply it, but. Once you have a better understanding, you'll know what you're going to apply. Again, the book is called Learning the Golf Swing Through Physics by Junshen Jason Wang. And it's available everywhere where you buy books, right? Yeah. I, okay, that's another sto- another story. When you like to learn something uh, smarter, all right? For golf, you cannot say uh, uh, per, uh, uh, practice makes perfect. That's no. In golf swing, you have to uh, smart practice. Only smart practice make perfect. You have to use your brain. Ego can fly. That's their instinct. They can fly. Human beings, you want to fly. You have to study the aerodynamics, right? Same thing. Same thing. For the golf swing, it's not human beings' uh, natural motion. You have to learn the technique, the nuance factors to hit the ball. For instance, I said, Use big hammer. I, I I'm stronger than you. I use a big hammer to hit. And you waste your time, right? Mm. <laughs> totally waste your time. <laughs> 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 like uh, uh, outside in, you don't think about the curve. You just think about your arms motion. Your arms motion is, as I stress, identical with the uh, baseball swing. So down to your uh, follow your 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 flank of your torso, right? And your your torso, your body's uh, pivot swing will, will help your club head to a forty five degrees swing. You have to use your brain, right? 
for many things. Many things you have to uh, to think and how to uh, how to grip the um, uh, club head wisely, right? Uh, I tell you what, tell you, which which point of the club is most important part, right? Which part when you probably, hold it? Probably probably the where you're holding the club. Pardon? Where you're holding the club, right? Yes, the, yes, the holding grip. the club. Okay, which point? That's a very important. I, I in my drawing, I, I use a reinforced cantilever level beam. That is the um, uh, regu- uh, a, a mechanical uh, civil engineering's uh, drawing. Mm-hmm. You can tell. Let 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 you go for yourself. Tell which point is very important. You know, you cannot grab the club extremely tight from the very beginning. Not only fatigue, right? You cannot create the, uh, the suddenly apply the load, which is in physical in physics is a double, double the regular force, almost double the regular force on wow. the subject, wow. right? Based on this, you have to study wisely. So that's why I said smart practice makes perfect, not just practice make perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for this education. I really appreciate it. And best of luck with the book. Really enjoyed having you on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I hope I can, uh, uh, because I'm studying the, I get many wrong information. Now I hope I can get a, a correct, right. I don't want to say I'm correct, but uh, the right information based on the theory, based on the physics. I hope your audience will benefit from our interview. I hope so too. So a week and a half ago was my birthday. And just after my birthday, Joanne and I were supposed to be away for a couple of days up in the Sierras, which was going to include a round of golf and an interview with the director of instruction at White Hawk Ranch and Gray Eagle Meadows Golf Clubs. Best laid plans, right? That's because I got one of the biggest surprises I've ever received for my birthday when the day after I tested positive for COVID-19. And as usual, Joanne was just one day behind me in testing positive as well. Amazingly, it was the first time for both of us. Frankly, based on the timing, I'm pretty sure I contracted it at the Giants game. I went with my older son, who has had COVID twice, so thankfully he escaped it this time. So after five days of being on Paxlovid, I tested negative and have been working patiently and diligently to get my full strength and clear mind back. It was a short bout, but it did kick my butt. Two days after testing negative, I did go out and play 18, and we'll be playing one of my favorite courses, Harding Park in San Francisco, tomorrow. Now, there are three elements of why I am so excited about this week's golf ambassador, Ana Jimenez, from Madrid, Spain. I always love to hear from women who are listening to the podcast in Madrid, Spain. How awesome is that? So I just checked with my podcast distributor and in downloads in the United States account for 70% of my total audience, followed by Australia, UK, Canada, Taiwan, Spain, Japan, Ireland, Sweden, and New Zealand rounds out the top 10 countries to have Golf Smarter listeners. And just to be fair, Germany is a fraction behind New Zealand. Now, the third part is that Anna recorded her episode into her phone and sent me the file. So there are options other than recording over the phone line. So where in the world do you live? And listen to Golf Smarter. We'd love to hear from you and hear where you play as well. We're a global community of active, passionate golfers who want to learn as much as possible and play the best golf of our lives. So please send me an email and you too can be a Golf Smarter Ambassador and receive a free gift just for participating. Now gifts include Tony Manzoni's video of The Lost Fundamental, which is available exclusively from Golf Smarter and nowhere else. You can also choose to receive a box of Odin X1 balls with the Golf Smarter logo or... 
you can get a glove and glove storage compartment from RedRoosterGolf.com, who've branched out and are doing a lot more than gloves, but their gloves are still first rate. But check them out, RedRoosterGolf.com, and see what else is going on there. I'll leave a link in the show notes and today's blog post so you can go right to it. So please, write to me, and I'll get back to you with some instructions of what to do and what to say. Send your request to golfsmarterpodcast at gmail.com or click on that Hey Fred button when you visit golfsmarter.com.